If you work on a software testing team, you probably wrangled with poor customer requirements, inability to reuse test cases from release to release, and you've probably lost track of key defects that needed to get resolved in a specific release. If you have, we can help. With QA Complete, you can organize requirements into releases or agile sprints so that you can know what's shipping in a specific release. You can also track any enhancement requests as product backlog, allowing you to prioritize this for upcoming releases. You can also tie test cases back to the requirements to get great traceability. At any time, you can see how many test cases you've written for each requirement, as well as the number of defects that have been discovered. In this example, we have an Add New Order screen. We found five defects, and all of those are still open, and we've created 19 test cases. If we drill into the test cases, we can see what releases those test cases have been run and the current status of those. Reusing test cases from release to release is a breeze. Notice that you can create a test library and divide your test into reusable functional areas, allowing you to reuse these test cases from release to release. When it gets time for testing, simply drag and drop items from the library into these test run folders to allow you to track which ones have passed and which ones have failed. Notice that any test case that fails turns red, any one that has passed turns green. You can also create defects from a failed test case very simply by going into the defect and marking it as failed. As soon as you do that, you can go to the bottom of the page and automatically choose to generate a defect upon the failed test case. Once you press that, you can then drill right into the defect and assign it to somebody to get resolved in an upcoming release. The developer that gets will get an email letting them know that this item is now in their queue to be fixed. Your team will appreciate the ability to see your test runs graphically. If you are using automation, you can also track any automated runs that you've done using uh, some of the major automated tools like Test Complete and HP's Quick Test Pro. By managing the runs of both your manual and your automated effort, you can see that effort side by side. Your development team will also be able to track all defects that have been discovered, and you can analyze the resolution rates day by day. You can come and query your list of defects by the status as well as by the person that they're assigned to. From the dashboard, you can see that trend out day by day, easily seeing how many defects you have that are open and how many are st that have been resolved. You can also look at your defects by severity to see how problematic they are. Finally, you can look at them by priority, allowing you to make sure that you have the most high priority ones uh, signed up first so that you can get the critical ones done in your development lifecycle. QA Complete comes shipped with a number of different reports that allow you to keep everybody in the loop. Here are a list of defect reports, requirement reports, and test case reports. Let's imagine that we wanted to see a test case report that shows all of our test runs over a specific time period. We can do that by clicking the test case run history by project. This report provides full traceability. It shows you each of your requirements and each of the test cases have been run that have been run for it. And for each test case that's been run, it also shows you that run history, who ran it, and the date and the time that they ran it. If you generated any defects from those test cases, you'll see that clearly on the report as well. QA Complete is quick to get started with and is available on the man anytime. No need to install anything, just sign up and you'll be able to use QA Complete right away. So what are you waiting on? I'll route you out to the sign up page now so that you can sign up for a free 30-day trial and get started.